Hi folks, Mark Victorson here at Pacific on the 13th, just continuing our battle plan. When the, uh, the flood damage came through, we had an opportunity to, for 180,000 of course, redevelop the whole 13th green. So the new green is really about three greens in one because there's different terraces, etc., on the green, so there's different flag positions. Today, the flag is tucked directly behind that right hand trap. If you get up there and have a look at the green, there's not much room between the lip of the trap and uh, and past the flag down into that in that grass. So it's, it's a fairly short landing area. So unless you can hit a really high spin spinning soft wedge shot, okay, your best play is really the middle, the middle of the green. It's a generous sized green, which part little part threes need to be because otherwise they get peppered. You know, if the green's too small, it ends up getting damaged by the by the pitch marks. So. We've got a nice big green now, but that doesn't mean to say that you need to go directly at that flag if it's tucked in behind that bunker on the right. Remember, the flag's there just to tell you where the hole is. doesn't mean you should aim at it. So I, I'm going to line up here. I'm going to take it wider, that right-hand bunker. If I come off it a little bit, probably end up near the flag, but it'll be a mistake if I get it close to the flag because I'm trying to give myself about a five-metre putt from the left if I can. The big key here is trying to hit it the right distance. So that's what my plan is. So I've managed to hit a pretty reasonable little shot, just didn't quite carry far enough and what's happened. Remember I told you there's a few different terraces here, my ball's caught this little spine running through the green and sort of run back here a bit. So I've got about a, I don't know, probably about a 10 metre putt, 12 metre putt, so still an opportunity for a, uh, for a two but an outside one. One of the things to be mindful of when you're playing this hole, I, I hear so many people who just dump it in the water there, and when it gets very fast, that, that lower terrace, the ball can run around, get on that, that fringe grass and run back into the water. If you hit the ball a bit further, have a look at what you've got. You've only got a bit of grass over here to contend with. All right, there's no penalty there. Yes, it may not be on the green, but it's a whole lot better than dropping it the other side of the the water there and hitting your third from there. I'd rather play my second from through the green than my third over there. So just something to be mindful of. I didn't hit it far enough, granted, but I was in no danger of going in that water. I had enough club that if I hit a decent one, it was going to get to the middle of the green, certainly. So something to, to consider. If you're a bit iffy, if you think, oh, I think it's a nine, you know, maybe an eight, go with the eight. Take a little bit more. Always good insurance. 